Well, good afternoon and welcome to Victoria Stadium. It's match day two in the championship group. It's Lynx FC versus Lincoln Red Imps. Let's take a look at the lineups. Starting with uh, Lynx FC this afternoon in goal is 99 Abiano. Uh, two is Garcia, three is Gallardo, uh, five is Alvarez, nine is Alder. 18 is Saladin, 20 is Santos, 22 is Malamase, 23 is Jimenez, 66 is Victory the captain, and 88 is Batista. Looking at Lincoln Red Imps this afternoon in goal 23 is uh, Coling, 5 is Wiseman, 6 is Lopez, 8 is Valerino, 10 is Walker, 17 is Rosa Blanco, 19 is uh, is Wanfre, 20 is Yaya, 21 is Nano, 24 is Sergeant, and 66 is Breto. Good afternoon, yes, welcome to Victoria Stadium. We're into the second half of the football season, the Championship Group match day two, and it is Lynx versus Lincoln Red Imps. The referee this afternoon is Sheenan uh, Gallia and his two assistants are Michael Macias and Adrian Carrillo, and the, uh, the fourth official uh, today is Patrick Canapa. Just going through the... Uh, the pleasantry is the head count before kick-off. And it will be Lynx to get us underway. Attacking from left to right in this first 45 minutes. And looking to put some valuable points on the board. And a win today for them. We'll see them leapfrog St. Joseph's into fourth place. And we're off. And a good season so far. It's a different look, different look, uh, link side for this campaign. A bit more physicality as we just saw there with Aldair. Sergeant forced to release the ball and close down very quickly there. Little bit of a breeze, but quite pleasant on the rock for some football. Well, the first time strike there, trying his luck from uh, from range. Must have seen Dale Colin off his line. No, no, knocking it forward, playing a, a deeper role. As he quite Austin has over the, the last few games, does like to push forward in support of, of Bonetto down this uh, down this near side, the left-hand side for Lincoln Red Imps. You can hear the wind. Could cause some problems for the keepers. All blocked. Trying to release the ball, but close down very quickly. Now inside, going for the one-two. He's going to get there first. Good delivery into the box and on well, the first corner of the afternoon. Build up quick. Give and go there with uh, Nano wanting the ball back in these wide areas and he can deliver quality into the box. So can this man. will be swinging this one away from the keeper looking for movement in towards the near post it's cleared by Batista I 
and go coming deep for this one. Oh, yeah, a bit of space. Fantastic engine through the middle of the park. Been pulled up out to the far side. Knock on the top by Whiteman. Oh, flighted into the box. It caused all kinds of problems there for Lynx. Happy just to clear the lines at the moment. Good delivery there from Lincoln. Causing a few problems. And just before kickoff about the league standings and the fact that a win this afternoon for Lynx will take them above St. Joseph's, but it's very tight at the top. Very tight indeed. Every well, the, the top three, that's Lincoln Red Imps, FC Bruno's Magpies and Europa, all on 31 points. Trying to keep that ball in. Just couldn't get there. Good run in there from Red. So always giving you that 110% every game. But yeah, very tight at the top, but a win. For Lincoln Red Imps this afternoon, give them that little bit of breathing space. Right in front of the assistants on the near side. been a lot of football this week and the rock especially with the inclusion of the first round of this season's rock cup after on monday night right through to uh thursday and then of course friday onwards kicking into the into the league fixtures Well, the referee signalling the, uh, the throwing. It's been a. Well, I'm not quite sure if it was a foul throw or not. I like Massey applying a bit of pressure. to Scott Wiseman looking for options this ball but a bit too much on there and Batista happy to shield the ball out for a goal kick looking at the benches this afternoon as well starting with uh, Lynx they've got Perez Resin Almeida Roos Duat Brima and McCauley there on the bench this afternoon for uh, for Lynx FC. As for Lincoln, Garcia, Toscano, Ronan, Lee Casiaro, Kiki Gomez, Wampe, and Roy Cipollina. Gia Fair early on is this game. Both sides have a great deal of respect for one another. Oh, 
going for distance this time, looking for Aldair, but Lopez doing well in that aerial battle with Aldair. And coming forward now with Yaya, looking for options on this near side, into the feet of Breto. Can he get the ball into the boxes? Well, driven across. And the best that Lynx could do will put the ball out for a corner. But have we seen on so many occasions, Lincoln able to turn defence into attack very quickly. He swung in this time. Lorino, or maybe the short. Well, it is. That's a good ball towards a back post. Well, the ball back in. Hitting it long in the end. That was a good corner from Lincoln, working it well. Valerino and Liam Walker. Got a lot of zip on that ball into the water back post. Santos. Going long. That's a good throw in. Oh dear, that's good skill there from the big man. Did really well with the control on the chest, on his head, and then also on the chest. It's caused a lot of problems this season for the opposition. Different style of play going forward or links powerful, good aerial presence. Not the best of corners, it needed more right on the ball. Lincoln trying to clear. Able to get the distance. Abiano just taking any uh, any chances with that one and the massive close down referee happy to play continue slice out by Colin Toss again, going long. All brought down. Very tight to try and get away from a red shirt, but Barreto able to get his toe in there and put the ball out for another throw in. And this will probably be a long one from Santos. crowd this afternoon situated in in the main stand here at Victoria Stadium reasonable weather but that breeze looking for the flick on with this one well, he's kept it low and it back down cleared that's a good block that's yeah the ball was there to be won Liam Walker was complaining, but the referee made the correct decision, stood right on top of that, and a good solid block. Three. Yeah, yeah, again, just 
tidy things up. Coming deeper to collect. This time Sergeant giving it away. Trying to get away from his man. Ibanez on the here. Uh, looking down the left hand side for Links this afternoon. 13 minutes gone. Links FC nil, Lincoln Red Imps nil. Match day two of the championship group. Outside of the boot, that's a excellent ball there from Walker. Well read from Batista as well, dropping the shoulder and coming inside. Can they switch the play? The man has opted to good pressure, but also good use of the ball there from from Blanco under pressure and. Able to weave away from his man. Picked up, driven almost into the feet of Alder. Couldn't control the ball, but it's nice ball into the feet across the deck. Oh, through the legs, looking for the one-two. There's room for Wiseman on that far side. He's going to come and support. Looking for the overlap. Or going through the middle, going for the. Well. For a second, I thought Valerino were going to let fly and try his luck, but more pressure. Well blocked down. But good use of the ball from Lincoln. Does look like Wiseman's going to launch this one in there's another player who's capable of getting distance on the on the throw-ins cleared out but he's got the ball back options in the middle floater back in towards the edge of the box first man to react is Valerie Noel who was almost ready to get the shot off but that's a good tackle and I think it was Santos coming across And Valerino were just about to pull the trigger. Good vision. Excellent defending as well, just to close down the space. But Lincoln again with good movement. That little bit quicker at the moment to Lincoln when pushing forward. Nobody standing still. Good block. Cleared out, done well. Lucky for Malamassi, who's good battle going on between Aldair and Jack Sargent. Best of passes, giving the ball away. But then Lynx able to get bodies behind the bottom, behind the ball. That's a good ball into Spiro. Oh, uh, I know, just got to keep the ball in. That knowledge of the ball there from Walker. It was a good one. Trying to stretch this Lynx team. One thing that they have been good at this season is 
You know, look at the score lines. Wasn't too much. Wasn't too much in that. Talal did on Nano. But uh, yeah, one of the uh, one of the big points about Lynx is that they've been very difficult to break down. Very well well organised. Space on this near side. Patient build up again. Feed Wiseman in, but he decided to go alone. Can he cut it back? Looking for sport. Cross face of goal. Well, oh, he was played into the path of Ethan Breto. He got himself in a good position. Excellent running there from Valerino. And he just needed the slightest of touches. But yes, again, quality build up down that right hand side from Lincoln. Forward again. Malamase trying to wriggle away from his on plank all that. Really seen the ball too much in the uh, in the Lincoln off. It's a head injury, that's what the uh, referee was indicating. Seemed a good challenge. Thinking of just, uh, just applied that little bit more pressure going forward. They found themselves in few good positions, Valerino going close and then Bonetto there getting played in by Valerino and having a hair shot Batista trying to pick his man but Lincoln pushed back First time from calling. Walker into feet. It's an heavy touch, is that? And well, Brett has done well. Well, it, it did. It did look like a corner, but the referee. A lot closer than I am. Awarding the goal kick. The, uh, the leading goal scorer so far in the the championship group. Sassed from uh, Bruno's Magpies. He's got three goals. One three on two. Borge two. So got more goals than that from the. Well, that could be a yellow. 
feel that Nano knew exactly what he was doing there because Aldair was away. There was no chance that Nano was going to allow him to have a free run through. First man in the book. Just managed to knock it just uh, in front of uh, Lincoln defender there and body checked. It long into space. Victory trying to get the ball under control. Blanco's moving through the middle and he's looking for that ball to be threaded through. Picked up by Lincoln. Working it out towards this near side. Long over the top, looking. Could enter into the box there from Beto. Links under a bit of pressure. Looking to clear the ball, but no real purpose of where the ball is gonna gonna drop. It is still nil nil. Football action coming your way as well later on this afternoon. Early evening, see Mons Calpet versus Europa Point. That's in the uh, the challenging group this season. As Lincoln press forward, sitting up towards the back post, and a down, but right in the middle. Oh, that was a chance. It was a good ball in, and Wanfred heading the ball. Safely into the keeper's hands, anywhere to either side. We could have been looking at a 1 0 lead, but it was a good ball, it was well flighted. They are having some joy down the right hand side when they uh, come forward in numbers. Got the ball back again. Free kick. Like he'd uh, managed to get the ball, but free kick to Lynx. Wherever you're watching this is uh, this afternoon. Maybe you tuned in on the official YouTube channel, the Gibraltar FA TV. Do subscribe to every single game of the 2022-23 football season. That's uh, league and cup fixtures. And to get the back heel, that's a good tackle. Malamassi picking the ball up. Aldair, heavy touch. Working it out to the far side. Intercepted by Valerino. A little bit of a tug back there. Referee. Allowing play to continue. Batista into the box, looking for the run. Safely into the hands of Lincoln's keeper. Lincoln, Walker. Hitting it long over the top. That's a lovely ball into space. First time shot. Oh, that's a wonderful finish. That is absolutely fantastic. Great ball from Liam Walker. And Wanfrey. 
striking the ball first time and nestling into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to Lincoln. Well brought down and a thunderous strike. And the kids over on that far side, absolutely loving it. That was fantastic football, defensing to attack. But that is what this team possesses. A brilliant ball played from Liam Walker into the, uh, the feet. First time touch. And then Wanfries put his laces right through that ball to give Lincoln a 1 0 lead. Sometimes you just got to appreciate. And Links need to be careful now. As Lincoln come forward looking for a second. Blanco. Trying to get it out of his feet, playing the ball square. A little bit of nervousness just creeping into Links now. Sergeant losing the ball. Back out to the far side. Cushion ball by Wise member. Putting the ball out of play. Another Masse into Jimenez. Close down. Good strength, but Link's getting bodies around the ball. That's a solid tackle. The ball was there and another good decision by the referee. And that's a good tackle as well. Aldair needs some support. Cut back. First time shot. A good block by Link Lincoln. Cut back into space. And the captain Lopez getting his body in the way. But if you're a, a Link supporter, that's what you want to see more of. Coming forward and asking more questions of this Lincoln side. All shielded by Batista just putting his body in the way. Shielding the ball back to his goalkeeper. Going long again. He's onside. He has got support. First time ball. Whipped in towards the back post. Picked up by Jimenez. Go for the shot. And he's going to win the corner. And that's better pressure. Can't see her. Coming forward and helping Aldair and able to whip the ball in. We're seeing that at the start of the season. A lot of the ball was being put in. That's a good delivery into the box and it's 1-1. And they've got the equaliser. Fantastic reaction and it's Santos. They have been dangerous from the wide areas. And Santos has managed to get above everybody else to get Link's level. He just managed to get above everybody else, but it was a fantastic delivery from the far side. Right underneath Dale Collins' crossbar. Excellent response from links and the lead for Lincoln was short-lived Thirty two minutes on the clock and we have got a game it's turning into a a bit of a thriller Through over the top, gonna carry through to 
Aviano. Out there again. Good skill. Just a little bit of a clip. Excellent feet for a big man. He's done really well since arriving at the club in the summer. Cuban national. Garcia will be looking to drive it into the box and ask some questions of this Lincoln defence. That's well played if you can get the well. Almost getting the shot off. They wanted the, the flag up. Captain Lopez. Not happy with that decision. He thought that Alder was offside, but the flag stayed down. More pressure. Gone for the short one. Can't see it. Close down. Santos with a, another long throw. That's a good throw into the box. Got some real distance on that throw in. And well charged down as well. Getting bodies behind the ball. You could hear the shouts from the, the management team of Lynx. Albert Perotti enjoyed that. inside and giving the ball away cheaply well there's going to need some reinforcements still got the ball Lopez tidying up moving it out to the far side nice ball into space collision between the two that's all but it is in a dangerous area and a chance for Lincoln to bring some bodies forward and put some pressure on Lynx Lopez coming forward Scott Wiseman as well making their way into the box and I'll just staying in a deeper position But we all know what Liam Walker can do from this range. We're putting plenty of pace on this ball. Been whipping it in towards the penalty spot. Links will have to be on the toes. Walker. That's a good well. Plenty of pace on it. Tell the pace and direction. Safely into the arms. The Lynx keeper. Looking for the flick on, but nobody there. Pull up by Eto. Brought down by Marlon Massey. Victory out to the far side. Jimenez getting involved. That's a little touch there. Good free kick to win there. Good initial first touch there from Victory to get away from his man. Young Young committing the, the foul.
got to say that the first 20 or 25 minutes certainly belong to Lincoln. Could have been two or three up, but slowly. Links have been able to get themselves back into this game. Another good ball towards, oh, towards the bottom corner. And I'm not sure if that one was creeping in, but Lopez wasn't taking any chances. They have got a fantastic aerial presence of this Lynx team. Another long one towards the back post, back across the goal mouth, and Lopez clearing. Goal kick. Good footwork there from Walker, able to give the link player the slip. Lincoln push forward, looking for the second. And they've won a corner on the far side. Players coming forward again, getting themselves into the box. B. Another Liam Walker. Corner whipped in. Left footed. Looking to put this right underneath. The link crossbar. That's a good ball into the box while the keeper came. I'm not sure if he got a touch on that one. But what a delivery from that far side. The pace on the ball. It was headed away by Santos. And across the Well, the captain's not happy with that. But it will be a free kick. And another one for Liam Walker to cause some problems for Lynx. Sun in the eyes. Well, he's taking a wicked deflection towards the back post. Oh, and it's, it's gone in in the end. And it's Scott Wiseman going on the end of that one. The ball was played in by Liam Walker. He's taken a lucky bounce. And the first man to react was Scott Wiseman. Drilling it into the top of the net to make it 2 1 to Lincoln. Well, Lynx are certainly going to feel open to that. But the ball was played in again. Another dangerous ball from Liam Walker, as we've seen on so many occasions. And it was Scott Wiseman just making that run into space and drilling the ball into the roof of the net to make it 2-1. Forty-one minutes played. Can Lynx get themselves level before the break? Batista. Wasn't a bad ball. Looking for that run of uh, a victory there. Well, they have been working hard to make things happen. And really close with that corner before the goal. Scott Wiseman getting himself on the score sheet. Doesn't score many, does the 
Experienced defender. Free kick to Lincoln. Mano takes it short. Good pressure from Malamasse. Wise minute in the space. Looking for the run. All turned. Teaster again. Out to this near side into the feet of Garcia. Good turn. Well, that's a pull back. And that is certainly going to be a yellow. Easiest decision the referee will have to make all afternoon. Just a lack of discipline there. There's no need to pull him back. They were covering players. Tucked into space, but close down by Nano again. Well, got the free kick, but. Very strong is out there. Remembering the uh, well, Collins push that ball forward another ten yards. They're down, not able to keep the ball. Bretos continued the got the ball back. Good battling there from Ethan Bretto. And he's still got the ball. And he's won his side a free kick. They want to take it quick. The ref's allowed it. Well, they allowed the uh, play to continue. Wanted to take it early. We're into added time. At the end of the... 45, been an eventful first 45 minutes between these two sides. Oh, there, Ch shielding the ball, but Scott Wiseman just happy to stand him up and not allow him to turn. Sense that there's plenty more football left in this. A few more twists and turns before the end of the game. And over the throwing. I think it's a uh, is it going long or going short into Walker? And there goes the half-time whistle from Victoria Stadium. Eventful first 45 minutes between these two sides. Looking to put some valuable points on the board. It was Lincoln who took the lead. A fantastic uh, goal from uh, Wanford. It was a ball played into the box from uh, Liam Walker. He brought it down with one touch and then blasted the ball beyond the, the Lynx keeper to make it 1-0. Uh, we then had the equaliser, Santos from a corner. And then uh, a few minutes ago, it was a uh, Lincoln Red Imps that made it 2-1. A ball played in from the near side, played into the box. And the first man to react was Scott Wiseman to blast the ball into the roof of the net. We'll be back in about 10 minutes time to bring you second half coverage from Victoria Stadium. But at half time in this championship group game, it's Lynx FC 1, Lincoln Red Imps 2. We'll see you soon.
Well, good afternoon and welcome back to Victoria Stadium. Teams and the officials just making their way back out onto the pitch. 2-1 at half-time. Uh, those goals from uh, Wanthret and Wiseman. And, of course, our goal for uh, at Lynx. For Lynx was uh, from Santos. Substitution being made. Big tall defending unit of Resin. Number four coming in at the back. For Lynx in this second half. Certainly a, an eventful first 45 minutes. Plenty of football. You just feel a few more twists and turns in this game. We are off. If you are just joining us, maybe new to the World to Football League. Lincoln, red and black attacking. Left to right in this uh, second period. Happy with that challenge, but he will have a free kick from a dangerous position. Chance to uh, get the ball into the box. Very tight as well at the top of the Gibraltar Football League. Top three sides: Lincoln, FC Bruno's Magpies, and Europa. All on 31 points. Walker with the free kick. That's a good delivery into the box. Just needed a little flick on. Abianos did well to keep his eyes on that ball. Clearing that one in. right into the uh, the Lynx technical area with that one. Batista looking for options. Walker, first time. Trying to squeeze it through for uh, one threat. Down the left, down the right hand side, but asking far too much of his teammate to get on the end of that one. A few of the supporters opting to. Uh, Sit out in the sunshine over on that far side. Too bad for uh, for a January uh, afternoon. Wiseman, the scorer of the second goal. Doesn't score many, but tell with the look on his face, he was happy with that one as it uh, as he drove it into the roof of the net to make it 2 1. That's a little build up. Walker turning back, good feet. Excellent footwork to get himself out of trouble. Got 
to say that uh, does a lot of work, but Yan Yan's had a, had a quiet afternoon in the middle of the park, but he seems to be making himself available. Cleared by Lynx. Patient build up again. That's a good turn from Valerino. Can he pick a man out in the middle? Got across, and it's 3 1. And all the work was done by Valerino. Yes. And his teammates acknowledging the fact that he's produced a little piece of magic, a brilliant turn into space. And Wanfrey getting his second, but all the plaudits going to Valerino. Oh, it was a patient build up. And then all of a sudden, they just speed it up a little bit down the near side. Step over from Valerino, able to get away, away from his man. And then driving it across the face of goal where Wanfrey claims his second of the afternoon. Coming forward again, Reto driving one and wins his team a corner. And at the moment, links are all over the place. You could see the arm gestures from Santos telling his teammates to get back and need to work harder. Giving the ball away too cheaply there. And almost paying the price for the fourth time this afternoon. Plenty of red shirts. Lopez looking to make a, a move. He's headed back across. Well, it's a good headed clearance. Well, the captain must have thought that he'd made it for. He's directed his header, goal bound. A fantastic clearance on the line. But more pressure being applied as Lincoln turn the screw. Excellent ball into the in towards that near post. Good covering there from now, no. Options on the far side here, on this uh, near side, I should say. To Blanco. Lincoln just happy to work the ball from right to left and make links do all the running. Got themselves a little bit of breathing space now with that, that third goal from one for it. It's a good turn as well from the big man. Oh. Yep, the yellow card. Oh, you're not happy. Be interested to see this one again. Well, it actually looked like he, he got the ball. Understand the frustration there, he thought it was a clean, clean tackle. It did look like he'd, uh, he'd got the ball, but he was coming from behind. Chance for links. Oh, there's... Possibly looks favourite for this one. I fancy his chances. Menes as well. Might try his look left footed. Gone for the corner. It's taken a deflection, a wicked deflection. And he's gone out for a corner. Well, the wall did its duty.
Again, the credit as well from Colvin, who's flapping the wall. Ball played in. Good header clearance. Going long this time. Headed out by Wiseman. Nice ball into space as Nano comes on one of those runs. He needs to be needs to be careful. He's already in the book. Needs to get themselves out of trouble. Building building up down that right hand side, but yet again can able to. Get bodies back behind the ball and close down the space. Plenty of football action as well coming your way later on. That's in the uh, the challenging group, Mons County versus Europa Point. Can coming forward. Will be a goal kick. Looking at the bench this afternoon for uh, Lincoln Red Imps. Garcia, Toscano, Ronan. Lee Cassiaro, Kiki Gomez, Juan Pet, and Roy Cipollina. I have a feeling we might see a few of those this afternoon while the ball played across. First time. Safely into the chest. Looking to get the ball over the top. Just couldn't put enough purchase on it. Good defending. Well, Lincoln opting to put the ball out. Jimenez there. Going to ground on that challenge from uh, Yaya. As for Lynx FC, they've got Perez, Almeida, Rus, Dua. Bremer and McCauley they can uh, call upon if need be could be a few changes as well but when Lynx have been able to cause problems for uh, Lincoln it has been those balls into the box played from wide areas looking around there and Hoping to pick up those second balls. I haven't had too much luck working it through the middle. Still looking for options through the middle. Need to be careful that they don't get caught in possession. Done well with that ball, but so is Wiseman. Goal in slicing that. Wasn't convincing. He's got away with it. Put under a little bit of pressure there and snatched at that ball, slicing through it.
Walker looking for options. Coming very deep to collect the ball. Valerino under pressure from Jimenez. Aldair. Substitution, as expected. Kiki Gomez coming on. Back in the side, been out for several weeks. Placing one three in the uh, in the centre. He's on the ball now. Nice little touch, it was a cheeky touch there from Walker, trying to get away from his man. Good footwork from Batista, knocking the ball back and they get away with it. It's looking to build. Good play there from Nano, for another pressure. Gomez into the feed of Breto, will he get the shot of it? It's a tight angle, cutting the ball back, into feed. Oh, and what a clearance. A fantastic clearance off the line. It's a substitute resting. Well, Liam Walker must have thought he was making it 4-1. But somehow, for the second time this afternoon, Lynx have been able to clear it off the line. Well, Liam Walker, he was staying composed and he was side-footing that ball. And he must have been believing that it was going to be a 4-1 lead for his side for an excellent clearance going to be another corner from the far side as Lincoln just start to tighten things up a little bit asking more questions looking for that fourth goal Cavalier defending this afternoon from uh, this Lynx FC side. Ball played in. Good head of clearance, getting the distance. Can they turn defence into attack now? They've got the ball. Referee says play on. The man is on it. Looking for the yellow shirts, but he's on his own. Oh, cool as you like there from Lopez working in tandem with, with Nano there. Long, Wiseman, all just going out of play. Going to see another substitution. I think it's uh, Valerino going to be making way at some point. First of all, it is Lynx. Barima coming on. I think we're going to see another substitution there, but uh, just the one for Lynx FC. TJ Barima. Alvarez. Working the ball out to the far side. Garcia running on the overlap. Good ball into the box, taking a deflation. Oh, he's gone narrowly wide of Dale Collins' right-hand uh, post. He took a little touch. And I'm not sure. Yes, it's a... Uh, it came off Scott Wiseman. Narrowly wide of Dale Collins' right-hand uh, post. Pressure. That's a free error. Oh, Chris, the crossbar. Well, that was a massive chance for Lynx to get one back. A free header at the back post. I'm not sure where the Lincoln defending was. Because it was the resting. Seemed to have an eternity to 
get that header goal bound and it's come off the crossbar. Questions about the defending though because there wasn't a red and black shirt in several yards of him. Abeliano with the long kick. Prima trying to keep that ball in play. We'll be trying to uh, impress his manager. The starting shirt his, his season so far has been spent a bit of time on the bench. Well, last season he was first on the team sheet. Clearing the ball, looking for Kike. Hit forward, but well anticipated. A little bit messy at the moment. Cleared up by Alvarez into Garcia. Ball square. Close down. Got the ball. Only well, referee. He allowed the advantage, but got to Lincoln. Lost the ball and allowed him to come back and take that free kick again. for options a patient build up again that we've seen on so many occasions and then they come forward and come forward in numbers played into the box clear by Santos but it will be a corner good pressure down the left we've seen another Substitution now, 67 minutes gone. Lynx FC 1, Lincoln Red Imps 3. B. Liam Walker. As you can see, uh, 1P is on now. Ball running for first time shot, boy. Oh. Kiki Gomez looking to pick out the keeper's left hand corner. It took a deflection. Good chance for him to get on the score sheet there. Played short. Walker to Wampet, across to the far side, good build up, into the box, oh. Santos again getting his way in, in the ball but Lincoln coming forward, Wampe curling it into the, towards that far side, Lincoln player down and in need of attention, Tough afternoon for Lynx, able to get themselves back in the game with Edda from Santos. 
but then a goal from Scott Wiseman made it 2-1 at the break and then a second for Wanthre after good work from Valerino down the right hand side hitting the ball across the face of goal and Wanthre uh, obliging double substitution victory making way for Duwa and also Malamasset making way for Macaulay. So uh, Albert Perodi making a double substitution, hoping for freshen things up a bit. by Lincoln closing down very well and another substitution Ronan being brought on taking the place of uh, Ballerino minutes so there's plenty of time for the substitutions to make an impact in this game looking for options going further forward is is Lopez gone long this time Preto getting on the end of it. First time ball played inside. Alvarez tidying things up and Garcia forced into driving the ball long. supporters making their way into Victoria Stadium in this second half and as I was saying before a few also enjoying the sunshine over on the far side of the pitch out there trying to bring the ball down do what? Oh, TJ. Prima there trying to wriggle away from his man, but running out of pitch. Got a lucky bounce there. Lincoln just happy to hit the ball long into safety. Well kept in play. McCauley putting Lopez under some pressure and winning the throw in. Brought in from the club, he was spent a bit of time in at Mercia and Las Palmas as well. Experienced centre forward, towering figure 
alongside uh, Alder. quiet in the last few minutes. Head of back and calling after having to race across and clear that with his feet. Making sure he didn't go out of play. And they're coming forward in numbers now. That's a good tackle because the ball was won. Kiki Gomez again, out to the far side. Won a first-time ball, played it towards the back post, coming at the back. Well, Wampi almost getting there. Gomez, good, well, surprised he's not going in the book for that one because it wasn't just a pull back, it was a arm round the neck. Lynch come forward. Need to get some yellow shirts in the box. Could get one back now. Set up an interesting final ten minutes. But safely into the hands of Lincoln's number one. throw in all about the points this afternoon it being so tight this season good build up that's a nice ball over the top Let's get that one in play. Back across the first goal. First time shot and what a thunderous finish. Absolute quality. Good play from Yaya. And Nano was racing onto the end of that. He's put his laces right through that. And it's nestled into the top corner. Look at the strike. Into the roof of the net. To make it 4-1. A good initial ball over the top from Liam Walker. And then Yanya was able to keep the ball in play. Playing it back from the byline. And the first man to react to the ball was Nano to make it 4-1. Absolute thunderous strike. Clean, able to keep it down. And giving the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever. What to do now? Does look like the game has slipped away from Lynx this afternoon. It was all about the three points for Lincoln. Good professional performance from them. They will go to the top of the league. They'll be uh, on 34 points. See Bruno's Magpies and Europa FC, 31. And then St. Joseph's on 20, Lynx FC currently on 19, and then uh, Glasses United, they currently have 12 points. Go 
don't forget as well, if you do want to keep up to date with what is going on in the Gibraltar Football League, there is the new Gibraltar Football app. It's been brought in this season. It's available on iOS and Android devices, so everything you need to know about the scheduling, squad numbers and everything else can all be found on the Gibraltar Football app. Just approaching the last 10 minutes of this game. Being no rush now. Healthy lead. Looking for number five. Wiseman looking for options. Won't be on the ball, another player. A walker going for a strike. Well, there was a lot of power, a lot of venom in that one. Trying his luck from distance. Abellano fumbling the initial shot, but able to get the ball at the second attempt. Link still looking to create issues, looking to create problems, but every time they do come forward into the final third, plenty of Lincoln players on hand to close down any danger. Need to get that ball into the box because that's where they've had most success. Feet very tight, made a good delivery into the box. That's a good ball. In. That is where the danger comes for this Lynx team. Lincoln just look a little bit more vulnerable when the ball is played in like that. Going to be a long one, looking for the, the flick on. Cleared. Walker first time. Cleaned up at the back, looking for the, the run of Kiki Gomez. Going right across the pitch onto the right hand side now. Trying to wriggle away from his man. He wants the ball back. Onto the one-two. He needs to get himself into the box. A late challenge. And a free kick for Lynx. Captain Lopez having a few words with uh, Sheehan Galliot, the referee. Had a, uh, had a reasonable game. He's allowed the game to flow when he can. Always going to get the tough tackles of these two sides, but Manage the game very well. Links going for the corner. Well, 
Colin happy to let that one. He saw that was going wide. And the wall doing its duties. Just over five minutes remaining. You just join us for the final few minutes of this. Two goals from one threat, one from Wiseman. And the fourth coming from uh, excellent strike from Nano. Bampe into the feed of Kiki Gomez. Will he take his man on? Trying to wriggle away. There's an overlapping player there through the middle. Oh. Well, they've got the ball back. It was an option for Kiki Gomez just to slide the ball down the right hand side. Decided to go through the middle. The chance had gone. Things need to be careful that going forward, looking for the second that they don't leave larger gaps at the back. I hope we choose to think that the uh, that cry, that war cry, was uh, Albert Perotti. But I was uh, I was told from a good authority that it's uh, actually the club president, Jack Noble, who does that on a regular regular basis, trying to cheer on the lads and gather some momentum. But this afternoon, they found it hard going against the reigning champions. Managed to uh, get themselves back in the game with that, uh, that header from Santos to make it 1-1. One, one. the ball up there is room over on this near side if they can move it move the ball quick enough Batista wants it that's an easy one into down the right hand side but out for a goal kick After this game, all focus will be uh, be placed in the challenging group. This evening, it's Mons Calpet versus Europa Point. 6.30 local time. Of course, it's available and every single game available on the YouTube channel. That's Gibraltar FA TV. Good strength that ball in kicking on is I'll be happy to get some minutes in the legs he's been out for quite a few games and getting some valuable game time for Alvarez who works it out Santos onto the far side wants the ball back in the middle here's an option can Lynx get a second last minute Going for the shot and 
dragging it wide. Would have been some strike from that range. Tight angle. Wampy over the top, that's a good ball. Finding his target. Walker, first time shot, just trying to wrap that trusty left boot around the ball. Just couldn't do it enough, you will see what he was trying to achieve. Pick out that bottom left hand corner. stoppage time won't be too much of that whatever referee decides won't be getting away from his man well, it did seem there was possibly a late challenge there from TJ Bremer certainly shouts over on this far side but Walker picking the ball up that's an excellent ball into feet. He needs to hit that first time. Going for the bottom corner. It will be a corner. Nice movement. From an acute angle. Would have been some finish to get it in from there. But it will be a corner. This will probably be final, uh, final play of the game. Good performance from Lincoln Red Imps. Going back to the top of the Gibraltar Football League. Good delivery in. Clearing the ball out. Nice turn. Able to rig away from danger, but Jack Sargent. The freeze says play on. into Walker Batista trying to uh, give Walker a hug there but and himself away from his man first time ball again Ronan keeps the ball in play Free kick. <laughs> Playing short of driving it to the box, looking to uh, get a fifth. As we know, over the years, goal difference has played a, a major factor. And you know, they're just over the crossbar. Well, there goes the final whistle from Victoria Stadium. It's ended in victory for Lincoln Reddings. It is them that will go back to the top of the Gibraltar Football League. Uh, two goals from uh, Wanfrey. The first one, absolutely fantastic uh, goal. It was a ball played over the top from uh, Liam Walker and a first-time shot from Wanfrey to make it 1-0. Uh, Santos then scored to make it 1-1. But then one uh, from uh, Scott Wiseman. It was another good ball played into the box from uh, Liam Walker. And the first man to react was Scott Wiseman to uh, smash the ball into the roof of the net. And then uh, we had another goal from uh, Wanfrey. And then a final one from Nano. But picked a pass from Yar Yar and uh, slammed the ball into the top uh, left-hand corner. So a 4-1 win on uh, this afternoon. Don't go anywhere because uh, at 6.30 this evening, we have got the, the uh, challenging group, and that will see Mons Calpe versus Europa Point. But in the championship group, it has ended 
Lynx FC 1, Lincoln Red Imps 4. We'll see you soon.